What is the riskier position, long UVXY or short UVXY? So for this one, I'm gonna assume you mean buy and hold on the ETF. If that's what you're asking, there's no doubt that long UVXY is the safer trade, right? If you think about it, long UVXY, while it is a terrible position, and this is not a recommendation, it can only lose the money that you put into the trade, right? You can only lose 100% of your capital. If you go long volatility, long UVXY, come back three or four years from now, you might lose most of your money. You might lose 95% of your money. If you get a nice big spike, if there's a big recession or something, or another repeat of the COVID, whatever it is, you might get lucky and make some money, but chances are good the long longer you wait, you're going to lose your 100%. Short UVXY, on the other hand, you can lose far more than your 100%, of course, because it is an unlimited loss trade. And like I pointed out, just recently during the COVID crisis, the UVXY did spike about 1,300%. So not only can you lose the 100% of all the capital that you put up into this trade, you can owe the bank 1,200% more than you put up. And again, I will highlight, the government went to enormous lengths to make sure that the market bottomed at 35% drawdown and reversed extremely hard. I mean, this could have gotten much worse. So don't think that a 1,300% spike in the UVXY is as bad as it gets. It's not. It can go much worse than that. And I would suspect it will. The next time some terrible crisis happens, I'm not going to say they're completely out of bullets. They seem to always find an extra bazooka laying around somewhere to throw some money at it. But more or less, it's just a diminishing returns of quantitative easing. So don't assume that it couldn't go 20 or 25 times. So if you're short the UVXY, yeah, you could lose 2,000% of your money. That is quite clearly riskier than losing a maximum of 100% on the long vol trade. Short vol, the reason there is such profit available to those of us in our volatility community that understand volatility, the reason there's an opportunity to make money is because it's so risky, because it's so dangerous. Like I pointed out to our friend who was going to sell that vertical call spread, the reason it pays a premium is because it's risky. That trade gives you 22 cents because it could blow up in your face. That's why it pays 22 cents. If it wasn't risky, short vol trade wouldn't make any money. There would not be a two-sided market and there would be no money to make. So yes, short vol is always more dangerous than long vol. They're both dumb. Like nobody in our community is buy and hold short or long vol. I hope because there's an infinite number of ways that you can improve your trading. You don't actually have to just hold them. But yes, on balance of probability, clearly short vol is by far riskier. Long vol is the slow bleed. Short vol is you could owe the bank your wages. They could garnish your wages for the next 10 years if you're not careful. So uh, don't be doing anything stupid like short undefined options on UVXY selling naked calls and thinking you're going to be okay. Well, you might be, but then when it spikes 2,000% in the future, you're going to find out very, very quickly that you're not okay. Yes, I would say don't do either one of those, but if you can only ever lose the money you put up, that's going to be the best. That's why defined risk options, that's always the best way to go. So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.